Howdy folks and welcome to Sight Reading and a Masterclass on Divertimento for Clarinet Piano by Talavaldus Kennens, Kennens, whatever. Excuse me, I'm sight reading this so I'm not sure how to pronounce the name. Okay, it's a work in three movements. Uh, the first movement is the uh, Moderato con Moto, uh, then we've got the Arietta and then the Vivo a Animato. Now, the key to um, when you first pick up a piece is not to immediately play it at tempo because you've got some nasty stuff uh, between two and four. So um, I would actually take it back to about 60. I mean, it's only 92 anyway. Or maybe 72. So Espressivo and Ben Legato. So, um, let's have a go at sight reading this. I'll point out any bits that um, are hard that may need extra work. So, Don't go um, charging through it at tempo because that'll only ingrain mistakes in your head. So, and there's accents as well. And again, that's another one. Um, Don't forget to use your left hand B, uh, that's the only one that will come out of the D sharp. So if I'm going the bar before three, okay, so uh, we have a Poco Stringendo through there as well. So. C and 70 sharp. Okay, so these two bars before four as well. And um, you want to learn this bar correctly, bar before four. four. Don't worry about the Poco Stringendo or the Poco Rit for the moment. So what I would do is practice it at this speed. And then gradually get it faster. And then we're a little bit slower here. Oops. Yeah, it is a C sharp. to write in all the flats and sharps you possibly can 
to make it easy on yourself. So first bar of five, right in that um, G sharp so you don't have to think. Uh, bar after five, right in the A flat and also the G flat so you don't have to think about it. And again we'll take this slow. <laughs> So even slower. So practice that a few times. And again, back that bar again. just that bar in isolation. So that eventually but it's useless practicing it at practicing it at tempo. time to think about covered fingerings. Um, if you haven't seen my covered fingerings video um, about how to get the best from your throat notes, um, the A you can cover. You can see my fingers. And you can see I'm covering the B flat. See, I'm covering the G. So for the G, it's just one and two of the right hand. Okay, let's go on after eight. Okay, what have we got here? G natural, right in the G natural. Because uh, you got so many sharps elsewhere. Just sight read the first movement. Now, bars I would pick out to practice are first bar of one, um, third bar, third and fourth bars of two, first and last bars of three, the first two bars of five, second bar of eight, um, and much of nine. Those bar, those so immediately point out the bars that are hard, and um, that way you can practice those bars in isolation. Okay, so I've got the arietta. Let me just make sure I'm not too fast. Okay, so that's nice. Let me get that really smooth. Uh, let me get my dress out from underneath the bell.
riding where you need to use the left hand and right hand fingerings. So second bar of three, left hand on the C sharp to the right hand D sharp. Um, fourth bar of three, right hand C sharp, left hand B, right hand D sharp. And then just before four, left hand C to go to the right hand E flat. So, so watch my fingers. <laughs> Okay, and then we're back at the beginning. Um, be mindful of the dynamics even when you're sight reading. <laughs> Covered fingerings. And a slow movement like this is really good to get your support going. Make sure there's plenty of air there. Okay. So we've got what looks to be a quite difficult final movement. It's quite fast. But um, I can immediately pick out bars that are going to be interesting. Um, bar before three. Mark that out. I'd say uh, bar, about three or four bars before eight, especially the bar before eight because you've got some, um, you've got a lot of accidentals there. Um, third, fourth, fifth and sixth bars of ten. Um, third bar of twelve and the last three bars. So let's just take this at a tempo that we can sight read it at and then we'll work at it. three there instead of two. So that was the bar I pointed out. Um, we've got uh, just an E major run up, G major run up and then an A major run up.
Pins come back. And there's a crescendo, poker crescendo through there. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a slight accelerando because we might have slowed down between four and six. But not as hard as we think it is because you've got a E major and then a G major run up top F or else overblow the D. And then we're quite a deal faster here. Uh, left hand C sharp. So you can go to the right hand D sharp. sight read through it all. Very good. Okay, so let's work on the bits that are, that are going to give trouble and I'll, I'll play through it again and uh, Let's see if we can't get some music this time in it. So, I'm going to take it back to about 80. Well, it's Espressivo anyway, so it's probably a fairly um, movable piece. So we're in P. So plenty of support, but you want a soft sound, you want a, a wishy-washy sound, so... So that's a bar you can look at. I'd use the left hand C sharp for the first one and then the right hand C sharp for the second one. because you've got two crescendos and you're probably up to about a mezzo forte come down again for the mezzo piano at two so <laughs> It's 
on my card out here, so it's quite well marked. And this again is a bar that we were going to look at. Um, and here's another section we wanted to look at as well. You've got um, three sharps in the first beat and then they cancel out in the second beat and another three sharps in the third beat. And they keep missing the D sharp. <laughs> I'll make a note of that now. So you are poker stringendo through here, but I wouldn't worry about that for the moment. Now the meno mosso was slightly slower here, and I would go for a really, really warm sound because um, you're in the shallow mode, which is naturally warmer anyway. So sorry. Another bar. And again, you need to use the left hand C sharp to get the right hand E flat. And then open up here because uh, we're in the upper register and a mezzo forte. flat and again covered fingerings. So watch my fingers carefully and then at eight. And uh, the tranquilo I would probably slow down a little bit here. tuning on that C it's probably going to be sharp. Okay so we've got the second movement now. So with these octave leaps make sure they're as smooth as you can get them. And soft fingers, we don't want we want the really soft fingers that don't clamp down on it. Covered fingerings. side F sharp there, it's just a little bit more stable. And then we're elaborating on the theme slightly at three.
I'd maybe take a little bit of time there. I mean, it's an arietta. You know, you know, arias, you know, in the opera, they take heaps of time. So, this is a little aria, arietta. So, marked here. to the same tune as at the beginning. Movement. I'll see if I can get it a bit further up to tempo. Then it's marked 138. I think that's quite fast. So this is 138. <laughs> doing here because I haven't been supplied with the piano part. But um, S receiver, I'd take it a little bit slower through four to six. French music, because in French music an accidental at the start of the bar applies to every single octave. I'm assuming that this isn't French music, so that the accidental on the D sharp is not, the is not an accidental on the lower D sharp. And uh, this is why we don't take it at speed. So let's take out this bar.
Oops, sorry, I left out a, a, wait, a rest there, I left out a colic. So. <laughs> take out these couple of bars ah and left hand C sharp so let's take out these bars um, let's do the first three bars of 12 slower So that gives you an idea anyway. Um, I will see if I can get this up to tempo and I'll do another video on it. But um, for the moment, um, that should give you enough to go on until you get to your teacher. Bye.